Alright, I've started recording. Oh. Mm. Have you watched so the last Top Gear? Oh. oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Go I, no, on. <laughs> I was just going to say, have you watched the new Top Gear yet? Mate, I didn't watch the old Top Gear. No, I know, but I thought maybe with, uh, because Jerry's in it. Might have a look. With who? Jerry from Friends. With, with who? What? Mate, it's not Joey from Friends, it's it Matt LeBlanc. No, and he ain't excited. It's Jerry from Friends. <laughs> right, okay. Just goes by the name of Matt now. <laughs> no, no, no. Why do they keep calling him Matt? His name's Joey. Exactly. Oh, look at him go. He's so sexy. What? Um, what? <laughs> what? Okay. It's us, it's us. So, hi. Hi. Alright. Yeah, I ain't doing another introduction. Ah! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, wanga. So last week, yes, you did the whole unknown thing. Mm -hmm. So it seems only right that this week we do a print special. I could not think of anything more horrendous than that. I mean, that does sound just a two-part print shocking. special. Like I, I'm actually tempted to put my thumbs into my eyeballs and just push until I feel brain. That's how bad what, it sounds. Like Oberin and yeah, style. Mm. Yeah, that's how cool. bad that sounds. Well, in that case, then should we do an unknown episode for me? Mm, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm pushing. I'm feeling brain. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Oh, corpus callosum. What? Yeah, I didn't know that word, did you? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> I will give you three points if you know what a corpus callosum is. Uh, what is it? A corpus callopum? Yeah, right. <laughs> corpus callosum, but you have to answer quickly, not in the amount of time it takes you to Google it. It's a broadband of nerve fibers joining the two hemispheres <laughs> <laughs> of the brain. <laughs> so. Oh. That drop down comes in handy, doesn't it, to find words quickly? I don't know what you're talking about. Of course. Minus three points to Gryffindor. Uh, say what, Slippery? Wanker. Ah. Yes, yes, you are. Oh. So, so, yes, <laughs> I did know that. Yep, sure. <sighs> <clears throat> so, unknown episode for me. Yes, that is true. And I've. What? Cool. What? what? <laughs> Fuck you know. I've I've racked my brains um as what I'm gonna do for this episode. And your corpus callosum. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, and that. <laughs> yep. I've I've really shook that about, try to have a think. So what I thought I'd do is I've also done it in three segments like yours. Oh. Yes. Um first off we've got a little quiz. Oh, don't tell me everything. Keep it keep it a secret as we go. Well, I'm not going to tell you. I mean, you won't be able to really guess. Oh, fine. Okay. okay. Oh. Oh, 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 I say anything else. All right. All yeah. right, all right, all right. You're going to find out in like 12 minutes. <laughs> <sighs> Do you know that feeling you get once you've had a bath, right? And then you feel like you've got water in your ear. I feel like yeah. I have that. It's really annoying. Like, I yeah. need to poke my ear. <laughs> I won't. Do you I'll... ever... Do you ever get that feeling and then sort of put your head down by your knees and tilt your head slightly and then it comes out and it's like, oh. Um, no. No, me neither. Something else that we're going to do with this episode is we're obviously thinking a lot about season two. Yeah. Um, we've got quite a lot of different ideas going around and we've got a couple of weeks until we sort of start proper recording season two. And something that I really want to do, but you're not too sure on it, um... Is me or you telling each other a new story, a mm -hmm. real new story from the past, and fabricating one element of it, and then the other person has to guess which element is made up. But the new stories are not just going to be basic news stories. They're going to be extreme, stupid, and weird, and stuff like that. And I've found a great one, and I'm going to try and win you round so that we can do it a few times in season two. Okay. All right, then. So we'll do that at the end. Okay then, fair enough. And it's a good news story. 
<laughs> like to the point where there ain't much fabricating that needs to be done to be honest but just one tiny element of it is going to be fabricated because the story itself is great so that yeah Woo. Woo. what okay the corpus callosum right yeah. did you know that on a monkey they so I think they did something to the corpus callosum like they severed it or something like that they fucked it up in some way and it fought itself for a banana like it's two sides of the body like fought each other to try and get the banana that's that's truly interesting mm. truly interesting cheers I'm should we in, do segment one I'm in awe of how interesting that was oh, fuck off <laughs> <laughs> okay so segment one Not yet. is um, it's I've called it my British test Oh God! So it's ten questions that yep. I feel like you should know. Oh mate, is this our actual questions? Like it's not just how British are you? It's like actual questions about British history and shit like that. No, of course it's not. Stupid stuff. <laughs> oh God! Thank God for that. I was genuinely <laughs> worried then. <laughs> oh mate, I I did I contemplated looking up a few questions. I was like, even I don't know what the fuck that's on about. No, so mate, it's really embarrassing. Like. No. I looked at something the other day and I genuinely didn't know the answer and everyone at work looked at me like what the fuck is wrong with you and I thought yeah, I know but this is I mean yeah sure you can take that test and you can pass as a British citizen but these are the things that you know you you need to know really okay right okay alright so <laughs> I feel like I'm at school <laughs> you, you should okay okay first question yep there's ten questions I don't know if I said you did good right so first question can you tell me who was the host of smtv live smtv live yeah mate i wasn't into MT smtv <gasps> live i was always into live and kicking oh, which was mate. zoe ball um well, that's not the question is it <laughs> no i know smtv live yeah was oh. it oh i mean stephen mulhern was knocking about then mm, was well, not him hmm Oh, it was that blonde chick. Uh, oh, what was her name? She looked like a mouse. I think. <laughs> it's not. It's a black bloke, isn't it? Probably. No, I'm not. Um, no, it's, it's, it's Andy it, Peters? It's, isn't that the bald comedian? <laughs> no, it's the black bloke, isn't it? I saw him once. I thought Park. Um, I don't know. Uh, SMTV Live. Yeah. I remember it. It was the program, sort of like a kids' version of Top of the Pops, wasn't it? Where they had like Will Young singing his new single or whatever. Uh, no, not quite. No. I think that that was element of it. Element of it. Um. Do you want me to give you a clue? Yeah, go on. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. There was three of them. Well, fuck me, obviously. <laughs> I think it was just one person. Give me a clue about one of the people, and then it might like spring something to mind. I see it's difficult because I give you ah SMTV uh, Live was yeah. it Ant and Deck? It was yes. And a woman. And 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 who was she? Was it that blonde chick that looked like a mouse? <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, it was Ant and Deck, and yeah. who else? Oh, it's come back to me now. But there's just a black silhouette where the blonde chick should be. <laughs> I don't know if she's blonde or not. Oh, give me... Uh, oh, I don't know. Would you give me, like, half a point if I got her first name, if you told me her surname? Uh, uh yes. Cat Dealey. Uh, there we go. Hey, it came to me. It came to me. There you go. Uh, for, a, for a bonus point, can you name uh, the game they played? It was like oh, a regular. No. There was a song to it as well. Yeah, uh, it's coming to me. Uh. <laughs> was it something about ants in your face or something like that? It was something to do with ant or deck, wasn't it? Well, there might. Be. That's not the game. Challenge Ant. What? Challenge Ant. Oh no, that was Saturday Night Takeaway. I oh, know. Go on. I don't know that one. What if I was to say the word? Well, just give me the. Give, give the give, oh, go on. No, well, go on. Because I was okay. going to say, give me a clue. Get sharp. <laughs> <laughs> we seem to have a bit of delay going, by the way. Yeah, I noticed that. Okay. Go on, g give me a clue. Okay. What if I was to say the word wonky? 
Wonky donkey. There we go. Hey. There you go. You've got another point there. I'm just tallying all this Two up. Two points. Hey. Okay. Now the next one is very easy. Mate, that was hard. Well, it shouldn't be. I mean, I, you know, you've I only just... I just had to just... dig into a hemisphere of my brain near the corpus callosum that I didn't even know existed. Oh, you're Jeez. painful. You're well painful to, to live with. Ah. Ah. Okay, so you should know this. Right, this is a very simple question, okay? If you don't get this, I'm going to think you're an alien. Right. Number two. Yep. What was Postman Pat's cat called? It's just a black and white cat, wasn't it? Oh, uh, but there was a name. Was there? Yes. Is it Sam? No. Postman you're an alien, Pat, aren't you? And he's black and white cat. In the, in the morning. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And his cat's name was Bill. <laughs> Uh, it was a female cat. Jessie. Jess, I'll give you. Yes. I'll give hey. you one point for that. Ooh. I was going to give you a point. I never for the watched singing. Postman Pat. Well, neither did I, but I know he's cat. <laughs> yeah, I just used to call it black and white cat. I think. <laughs> Didn't really. Yeah. It, I must have known it because it was there, wasn't it? So yeah, exactly. It was stored your, somewhere in your cerebral cortex. <laughs> Next to the corpus callosum. Did you ever watch <laughs> Mike and Angelo? No, can't say I did. Zap. Uh, that sounds familiar. What's uh, does it's sound like familiar. a comic book and it the characters came to life. Oh yeah, that does sound familiar. It's like that, and the animated version of Jumanji that was well good. Oh no, I don't remember that. Just try and download that. Actually, I still really enjoy that. <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah, carry sad, on. <laughs> sadly, you are an adult now. Okay. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Just take nah, another day to watch Jumanji. Exactly. Okay, so question three. Mm-hmm. You should know this. But mind you, I've said that for all of them. He said that for the last time and I had to struggle. Jesus. Okay. Someone waiting at a bus stop is called... Bus wanker. Hey, well done. Hey. Talking about that today, actually. The really? programme between us. Because, yeah, it's been a while since i watched that and I quite fancy watching it again. Yeah. I like the in-between us. It's a very good, very funny show. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, question four. <clears throat> yep. A trip to what restaurant could be classed as cheeky? Nando's? Yes, correct. Well done. That's right. I know that because of the twinks from YouTube. But yeah, that's a whole other story. Go on. (laughs) Oh, God. Okay. Question five. Mm Mm-hmm. How much should a Freddo cost? It should cost ten pence, but it doesn't anymore. Correct. Well done. It pisses me off. Do you know what? I was in Wilco the other day, and I looked to buy one, because I thought, oh, yeah, I could write... Either, I was either a Freddo or a Taz man, and I always liked the Taz, because it was... Um, it had caramel in it, or was it the Freddo that had caramel? I, I can't remember. No, Freddo doesn't, but I don't know well, Taz. 35 pence. Oh, mate, I know. 35p? It's shocking, isn't it? They were 10p. And I remember this little shop that used to do it for 8p. Mm. Mate. Most of the days, eh? What's what's happened to this world? Could murder a Freddo right now. Yeah, I could murder any chocolate covered anything. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Mate, I'm doing good. You are. You're you are doing well. <laughs> it's going to get harder now, isn't it? The way you no, said that. No, I think it's it's fine. It's okay. 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 So, next question. Right, so number six. When will the DFS sale end? Bank holiday. Oh, mate. End the day after bank holiday. It never ends. Ever. Really? It's been going on for years. Oh, yeah, I know, but they always well, say... Well, no. Ends after bank holiday Monday. Uh. I'm going to give you half a point for that. Oh, mate, you suck. Oh, well, so do you. There we go. Written that down now. <laughs> Okay, ready for your next one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's Lost all interest now. now. <laughs> Go on. Okay. What is <clears throat> meant... All right, so let me start that again. So, question seven. Mm. What is meant by the phrase, Bob's your uncle? Like, there you are, it's done. Like, Well done. Voila, that kind of thing. Correct. Can you finish it? Hmm? Can you finish it? Bob's your uncle. Oh, Bob's your uncle, someone's your auntie. Something like that, isn't it? (sighs) Someone is my auntie, yes. (laughs) Name though. Bob's your uncle, Susan. Oh, Fanny. 
Fanny Drive. I've never heard that bit. I knew it was some, but I think the name probably varies. I don't think there's anyone written in stone in some cathedral somewhere. Tut, tut, tut. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this sink that we discussed the other day, mm-hmm. so you should know. Mm-hmm. So, question eight. What is the correct response when someone drops a tray in a canteen? Hey! <laughs> Well done. That is correct. Followed by wang ah. <laughs> exactly. I was saying this to the other half, and he was like, "Well, that's not very nice." And I was like, "Well, yeah." It's either that yeah, or yeah, oh, British, well dude. done, well done. <laughs> yeah, correct. Well done. Okay. Um, question nine. This is quite an easy one. <laughs> what is James Bond's drink? A vodka martini shaken not stirred correct well Blech. done okay last question question 10 mm-hmm. if someone is having a bit of how's your father what are they mm-hmm. doing sex hello they're doing sex <laughs> <laughs> they're doing the sex <laughs> <laughs> that is correct well done so mate hey. I'm annoyed at the DFS one because I mean technically well Technically, well. a sale does end and then restart, and I thought that's what you meant by the question. So I think that the adjudicators need to relook at the question, look at the situation and the scenario, and rejudge their evaluation. Uh, let me. I mean, I've got the adjudicators here with me. Okay. So let me just ask them. M- Matilda. Of oh, course, <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the thing is, right? Yeah. In the timeline of these episodes, yeah. people don't know why that's funny. Well, I'm kind of thinking of putting... Have I done my unplanned one yet? Have I put that up? Mm, not yet, no. Haven't, have I? So what I'm thinking of, why don't we put the random one up before we do those two? And then Can do, do. I think I mentioned the unplanned one. Oh, did you? I think I did, yeah, because I said, oh, last week we did this. Oh. I think, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. Never mind then. I'll cut that bit out. <laughs> oh no, keep it in. But we fucked it up now anyway. So exactly. Yeah, well. <laughs> exactly. Me, uh, I'll just I'll just ask the adjudicators. <clears throat> what do you what do you think? No, 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 I know. It, it exactly ends. But no. Sorry. Sorry, James. They've <sighs> they've said that they, they'd love to do it, but they can't. Also of course they're telling me he's a wanker. No. Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, they said you're a wang. So I get nine. Oh, mind you, no, because I got an extra point on the other you one, did. didn't I? So I get you you have passed off. the test. You are British. Well done. Did Thanks. you know? <laughs> huh? Did you know? Did I know that I was British? Yeah. It came as quite a surprise because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. All right, well done. That is the... Oh. End of segment one. I enjoyed that. Did you? Yeah, I think we should maybe do a childhood special and do some questions about childhood and see how much of that we can remember. I've seen quite a few of those that I was tempted to do as well. Yeah, I quite I like yeah, I like the idea of that. Okay. Season two. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh. So I've come across this site that I thought was quite funny. <laughs> so God. It's how you will survive if a zombie apocalypse broke out. Oh, yeah. There are... There's about 20 questions that I need to ask you. Mm-hmm. But it's, you know, stuff like the last person you spoke to and stuff like that, okay? So, mm-hmm. it's going to determine how you're going to do. All right? Right, yeah. Mm, are you ready? Interesting. So, I think so. Okay. Well, remember, this is, you know, this is life or death. See how so you're like it's it, the the apocalypse is going to happen like right now. Yeah, essentially. Oh fuck. Yeah. Oh poor Rupert. Well, and yeah. Phoebe, she's only just come into this world, and now yeah. she's going to be a little zombie hamster. Oh, that's really sad. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Question one. <laughs> okay, so the name of the last person that you spoke to in person. Ted. Okay. Also known as husband. That's true. Uh, the name of the last person that you text or messaged. Alice. Also nice. <gasps> Me. Twat. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I'm putting capitals. It really doesn't matter. It would help if I could spell my name. Jesus, what was that? Fuck <laughs> it. 
uh, the name of the last person you felt like giving a punch in the face um, a woman that I work with um, okay. we needed um, cover for a shift today and I was phoning around and said to her can you cover the shift and she said no she then went on to explain why and I'm sorry but her valid reason wasn't valid Ooh. she could have come in and done it oh so yeah I mean, I want to punch her in the face most days anyway, but I just, you know, extra. Mm. Can I get a name? Her name is Anne. Okay. I, I won't give you a surname. Yeah. If that's, all right. <laughs> that's probably best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The last thing you ate. Um, I want to say my salad, but I don't know if that's true. Oh. Um, I think it was my salad, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. The last thing you drank. I'm it was a very nice salad. Uh, I'm sure it was. I saw the photos on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, it was a Caesar salad. Oh, you're going to so go into detail bit, and yeah, explain it. Yeah, a bit of Parmesan on top. Oh, it nice. had some salt and pepper croutons on top as well. And I also added just a dash of lemon and herb Nando sauce just over the top, just to give it a bit of a kick. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Next question. Yeah, uh, the last thing you drank. Coffee. Obviously. I don't even... It was oh, a fucking hell. caramelito Nespresso with just one sugar and cold milk because I'm not into the hot drinks at the moment because the weather's a little bit funny and it's a bit too humid. So I've gone for the caramelito and it was very nice. I've rather enjoyed that. Well, that was 10 seconds of my life. I'll never get back. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the last public place you visited... Ugh, work. work. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, no, it wasn't. It was a Starbucks for oh. the new cookie dough frappuccino. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, the last TV show you watched? Uh, Veep. Veep. What's that like? I'm really, I'm really into Veep. Like, it's sort of intelligent humour, so I don't get everything, <laughs> but it's quite funny. <laughs> Oh, bless your simple mind. No, it's, it's really funny. And having just sort of watched all of House of Cards back to back and then come into this, which is basically, you know, like it's set in the exact same building, but just a completely different set of people. And they're just really funny. And there's some characters in it that I really love. And it's just really good. You might have to give it a look at some point then. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely your cup of tea, I think. I think at the moment, though, my entire time is just spent either watching Game of Thrones or researching Game yeah. of Thrones so you know mate next week looks so good <gasps> oh my gosh I never thought I'd be excited for a Jamie Lannister episode but fucking hell it looks so good oh, do you know I do like the Jamie Lannister episodes and I'm very excited that he's mm. now joining Brienne in the River Run oh. I, I just hate the fact to an extent because I'm starting to like him and that ain't never a good sign no it's not mate you shouldn't like him that just mm. be awful. Anyway, but, zombie apocalypse. Yeah, we should. Uh, we'll do a whole episode on that. Yeah, Can it be a it. White Walker apocalypse? Sure. Okay. Cool. It's, it's a White Walker. White Walker. White Walker. White Walker. <laughs> anyway, I'm very professional. <laughs> the last words anyone said to you in real life. Um. Can you close the fridge, Ted? <laughs> okay. Can you close <clears throat> the Bridge. Ted. Right. Uh, the last meeting. It was of... Ted that said that. Yeah, no, I just crossed that. I don't bit mean out. that Ted <laughs> stood there and said, "Can you close a fridge?" <laughs> Talking to himself. That'd be weird. Anyway, the last means of transport transport you've used. Walking. Okay. Boring, but sure. <laughs> it's been a long time since I got a bus. Yeah, I suppose it has. Uh, the last item you held in your left hand. My left hand. Yes. Um, probably these headphones because I mean I pick up my phone with my right and my coffee cup with my right. So okay. yeah. Uh, the last, the title of last song you listened to. May. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you exactly because it's paused at this very moment. It's called the plan. It's two minutes and three seconds. It's the full length version, although it's only a short song. It's from an album uh, called Kuma, uh, Akuna Kama Sutra. Matata. Akuna Matata. <laughs> Listen to the Lion King soundtrack. <laughs> it's from an album called Kama Sutra. It's an instrumental album by Prince. Yep, 
That's another. That's twenty seconds you owe me. Okay. Hang on, it's another ten seconds. I wasn't listening to the Karma Sutra album. I've made a playlist. Well, actually, I've made six individual albums of the best ballads of Prince, and I've put them all together. And that song comes just <sighs> after "It's Romance Ever Sold" and just before the song "Sweet Baby," because I think it gives quite an interesting thing. Next question. Oh, sorry. Are you done? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh, the actor starring in the last movie you saw. Movie? Yep. Uh, I'm going to say Ian McKellen. Ooh. Because I watched X-Men 3 last night. Fair enough. Okay. Um, Next question. The last weapon you used in a video game. Oh, shit. Mm. Um, I mean, I've been playing a lot of Undertale, and the thing of that is that you don't use weapons. Um, oh. Video game before that was probably... Sims. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Total. Um, <laughs> it was probably Arkham Knight, so oh. I'm going to say Batarang. 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 Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, the last game you played? Um, Undertale. <laughs> And you're not including your little, uh, your little Sim City place thing. Oh yeah, go on then, Sim City. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah, but actually, it's called Sim City Build It. But we'll, we'll go with Sim City. Another five seconds. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the last piece of clothing you put on today. Um, I mean, I've changed what I'm wearing a few times, but. You know, from work clothes to pajamas to going out clothes to pajamas. So I'm gonna say my shorts because I usually put a t-shirt on first and let me boys hang out for a bit <laughs> and then put shorts on. So I'm gonna say my shorts. But as we speak, one of my two boys are hanging out anyway because these shorts have got a massive hole in them. Well, that's and a horrible image for everyone. I can make it better. I'm sat on a bin, so of course you're. <laughs> quite a cold boy <laughs> uh, I can just imagine him being sitting there all hairy and ugly <laughs> I'd like to see where this is going to fit into the zombie apocalypse <laughs> it's just me running down the street with one bollock hanging out yes um, okay anyway next question might be a bit of a struggle because I couldn't remember what it was the last subject you had in school oh mate hmm I mean, whatever it was, probably bunked it and went to the music department. Exactly. So just, just say music. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the last body part where you sustained an injury. Um. I mean, I could go with the fact that because of the humid weather, the tops of my legs have been rubbing quite a bit, <laughs> and they're a bit sore. Right. But I'm not going to go with that because that's a bit weak. Um. I mean, I've also got a nail that's slightly broken and hurting in one corner, but that's oh. not exact. Hashtag oh, you know what problems. it is? You know what it is? I, I hurt the side of my leg earlier because I was walking past Rupert's cage and I whacked it on the, the bottle. So, yeah. Okay. Leg leg injury from rabbit cage. Leg injury? <laughs> from, from rabbit cage. Rabbit. I can't wait to see what this is going to say. I oh, know, isn't it? Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm right. waiting for the bollock part, to be honest. Well, all I've put is shorts. Do you want me to add oh, the bollocks put, in? Yeah, add, add me bollocks, yeah. Shorts. Well, no, just add my one bollock. Because um, that's the truth. Because like to, to hang bollocks out? Uh, just put sh shorts with one bollock hanging out. Okay, shorts. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's technically what I'm wearing and one how, how I'm hanging. <laughs> bollock. <laughs> hanging out. Lovely. Uh, the last website you visited, uh, you know, it's PG, PG-13. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to say. Um, I mean, let me have a look. It's probably the news website, but let me just double check. I'll go into thy history. History. Uh, history. Fucking hell. Come on, history. Uh, dark red purple, what's that? Oh, ah, <laughs> you see, I, I, I Google searched... Um, purple and red 
because for this Prince album that I'm making, um, obviously I wanted purple, and obviously because it's a love-themed album, I wanted red. So I've Googled an image that's both purple and red, and it's sort of, you know, arty-looking. And I've applied that to the front and back cover of the six-part album that I'm making. So actually, the last website I visited was just a picture of purple and red. Uh, it's another ten seconds for you. <laughs> yes, I just... Purple and red website then. <laughs> red website. Wait, this is going to be weird. No. Uh, the last animal you've petted. Uh, Rupert. Rupert. I'm going to put. I'm going to play with feet. The rabbit. Oh. Okay. Uh, the last item you've bought. The last item I bought. Does does coffee count? I suppose it does. Yes. Yeah, it'd be a cookie dough frappuccino. <laughs> Cookie dough Frappuccino Okay The last country you visited Other than your own um, so I'm going to go I'm going to say county The last county you visited yeah. Other than your own Um. Well I mean we went to London on Thursday Okay Does that count? Yeah I'll put London then Is London a county? Well it's a city, isn't it? It's a city, isn't it? That's the one. I was. That's the word. It'll do. Okay. Um, color of your t-shirt. I'm gonna go with a subtle grey. Really? This is how we know with, you're gay. Because not... with hang on, I could just gotta get under the light to have a proper look. It's it's a subtle grey with earthy tones. Earthy. <laughs> <Earthy tunes. laughs> okay. Um is there any logo, text or image on your T shirt? There is. It's oh. the Joker from Arkham City and on the back it says there's plenty wrong with me in Joker Scrawl. Yes, it's a very cool T shirt. Um should I, what should I put then? There's plenty wrong with me? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's you know, true. Plenty wrong with me okay it's quite so, funny because well it's sweet it, me even um, I'm at work today and I was walking down the corridor and I always forget that there's something written on the back of this t-shirt <laughs> so I'll just be walking along and I'll just hear someone shout there's plenty wrong with James and just think the fuck and then, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't what you mean. but today I was walking along and one of the people that lives there said but we love you anyway Aww. and I thought what does that mean? And then she went, there's plenty wrong with you. And I went, ah, yeah, shut yeah, yeah, up. <laughs> I hate it when, like, do you remember at school when people used to put, like, kick me on your back? And then no. people would be, like, kicking you, be like, what the fuck's going on? Why is everyone uh, kicking me? Sometimes they, sometimes they didn't even bother putting the note exactly. on. They just kicked you. It yeah. was even worse. Anyway. Do you know what? Talking about T-shirts and people talking about it, the worst T-shirt for that is a Superman T-shirt. Really? Yep. And I discovered that walking around a cathedral, because about four or five different people, all old people, went, "It's Superman!" Oh no, yep. that's bad. Annoying as fuck. Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Because you forget, and there's me just looking around, thinking, oh, "Where is he?" <laughs> really? Yeah, there's another two seconds. Don't get back. Yeah, Go on. You're special, on. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, last two questions now. Okay, so I need you to really think about these ones. So, mm -hmm. least favourite way to die. So, it's got to be in the... See, it's got a note here saying, please write in the perfect tense, i.e. choking on a banana. So well, for me, it would be drowning. Okay, drowning. Or the inability to breathe, so anything under that. So, yeah, drowning. Okay, I put drowning. Okay. And... Mm -hmm. Please choose one adjective to describe how you'd feel if a zombie apocalypse broke out. Horny. <laughs> no, nope. it's going down. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. It's your fault. Okay, that's it. Are you ready? Uh, I think so. This is going to be fucked up. Okay. Oh, uh, website crash. No, sorry, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so the title says, let's see how screwed you are. Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready? Yep. So, a zombie apocalypse broke out. You, Ted, Alice, and Anne are the only survivors. Oh, God. <laughs> Forced to work together to survive, you set up camp in the Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> you have gathered 12 kilos of salad and 
June litters of coffee. Well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I'm going to say two litres of coffee. I mean, I'm liking the story so far. I don't like the fact that Anne's there, but well, I like how it's going. Okay. I mean, you, me, and Ted at Starbucks. That's exactly. just a regular Saturday afternoon, Not anyway. Not too bad. Huh. Um, and your only way to defend yourself against zombies is a batarang. Well, Ooh. that's not too bad. That ain't bad, yeah. I can do it from a distance. I mean, I can't throw for shit, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'd be funny. Anyway, Ted wants a cool name for your zombie hunting group. So you call yourselves the Subtle Grey with earthy tones Rupert the Rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And you slay zombies to the epic tunes of The Plan by Prince. Ooh. Oh, oh that would be weird because it's really slow. <laughs> oh, it's been freaky as fuck. Oh dear me. Okay. When not plant when not slaughtering zombies, you watch Veep together. Oh, sounds nice. Oh, oh. And somehow managed to fix the computer using a cookie dough frappuccino. Of course she did, the fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus. You just you decide to visit Purple and Red website. Where you read that <laughs> there are other survivors living in London. <gasps> um, using Alice's walking, you travel to London. <laughs> <laughs> using Alice's walking. Oh my god. <laughs> so basically, you're going to be like, oh, no. <laughs> we're just all going to be on your back. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what it sounds like. Uh, right. Um, what the fuck was I reading? Okay. Uh, so, yes, using Alice's walking, you travel to London, slaying any zombie that stands in your way there. Unfortunately, 190 kilometres down the road, the walking is destroyed by a zombified Ian McKellen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Oh, and Ted is sadly killed in the process. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened to I know. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry, mate. At least it weren't you with all your walking. Exactly. <laughs> well, my walking has been destroyed now, so... <laughs> okay, someone will have to distract the Ian McKellen zombie while you attempt to fix the walking with the headphones <laughs> you happen to have in your pocket. <laughs> oh, God! So, basically, you've got a bleed in your leg and I'm trying to restrict the flow with some headphone <laughs> lead. Yeah, that, that might work. Yeah. Okay, well, apparently, after a quick game of SimCity... Why not? <laughs> Anne is the only one to distract Ian McKellen zombie. Oh, with her neck, hopefully. Oh. After you somehow manage to fix the walking with the headphones, <laughs> you call Anne, but she was killed by the oh, Ian McKellen fuck. zombie. Good. <gasps> you try to slaughter... I hope you bit her <laughs> You try to slaughter the zombie with the batarang, but it's ineffective. <gasps> the zombified Ian McKellen is angry and attempts to attack but Alice sacrifices herself for you. <gasps> Shit, thanks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God, I forgot about this bit. <laughs> you take off your shorts with one bollock hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and show the zombie your subtle grey with Earthy Tones t-shirt, <laughs> revealing the, the there's plenty wrong with me on it. <laughs> This somehow repels the Ian McKellen zombie and you are safe. <laughs> what the fuck? As you walk back to the fixed walking, I don't know how, I'm dead now. Yeah. You were attacked and by... Just use your legs. <laughs> <laughs> just take your legs off and walk with them. Oh. <clears throat> you are attacked by a horde of zombies. One of the zombies Gosh. violently tears off your leg injury oh, from the rabbit cage. <laughs> And the zombies leave you to bleed to death. You try to disinfect your yeah. wounds using some salad, but it's not very effective. <laughs> I'm not fucking surprised. <laughs> I guess you should have paid more in more attention during music. With your yeah. last amount of strength, you scribble a note on your headphones. <laughs> <laughs> to the person who finds this note, can you close the fridge, James? <laughs> there's me laying with my shorts <laughs> off and my t-shirt on it says you slowly start to fade away and your life flashes before your eyes right before you die 
Well, at least you did not die drowning. Today was not as horny as you thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. That was oh, really good. God, that was God. fucking weird. <laughs> that was a story and a half. <laughs> oh. So yeah, you're pretty screwed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We need to find a website. Not the same, because obviously I imagine the story would be pretty much the same. Yeah. But we need to find a similar website and do something like that for you because that was really funny <laughs> yeah that was good actually I like especially, that especially with all your walking I know right <laughs> oh, oh god dear. right oh so that was segment oh. two yep <laughs> <laughs> um, now segment three is something like we've done it a little bit before and I just I quite enjoyed it so I thought I'd incorporate into this episode Okay, it is 17 would you rather questions that are impossible to Jesus. answer. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Question one. Would you rather smell like poop and not know it or constantly be smelling poop that nobody else can smell? Constantly smelling poop. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Like, it really bugs me if ever I get, like, you know, my arms under my arms stink or whatever. Like it really annoys me. So I'd sooner live with the burden of smelling poop. Oh. Is it my own poop or somebody else's? I'm gonna poop? go with someone else's poop. Oh uh, yeah, that makes it worse. But mm. you know, like not that my poop smells good, but no one really minds the smell of their own. So, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Question two. Would you rather eat only roadkill for the rest of your life, or have everyone else in the world sound like Gilbert Godfrey? God, that'd be horrendous. Who's Gilbert Godfrey? Really? Let me let me play you a sample, and then you can answer it. Gilbert. <clears throat> oh, his voice. If it's the guy, I'm hoping it's the guy I'm thinking of. Oh. Can you hear that? No. Oh, okay. Um. I don't think this is even it. How about I Google it? Should we do that? that? It'd actually be a lot easier. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey. Hang on. Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, this guy. Oh, God. Hang on. Erotic. Goddess has oh. stopped dancing and is staring <laughs> too open mouth and drooling slightly. Um, now that's. I mean, uh, that's it's an, it's an annoying voice, but it's better than eating roadkill for the rest of your life. Yeah, but imagine you, you're going to make sweet love and that voice is. Come to bed! <laughs> oh. Exactly. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm still going to go with Are it because roadkill oh. I mean roadkill I mean yeah, that's you can add some salad with unless it. I can get a car and just start running over some chickens I mean there's that but then I can't really do that can I that's not, not... really no <laughs> now I'm going to fuck Gilbert Godfrey oh, what? That, that wasn't the would you rather but sure <laughs> well I'm going to have to aren't I if he sounds well, like that's it. true Hawks. Anyway, question three. Yeah, number three. <laughs> Would you rather have taste buds on your butthole or poop through your mouth? Taste buds on my butthole? Yeah. Does that mean that I eat through my ass? Well, I'm going to say it's that every time <clears throat> you poop, you taste it. Oh. Yeah, that would... Well, then I might well eat it. Ah? Uh? No, no, not really. I was going <laughs> to... <laughs> no, uh, well, yeah, taste buds on my butthole. That'd oh. be all right. I mean, I talk shit. I might as well taste it. Ah. Ah, idiot. Ah. Okay. Question, <laughs> Question four. Uh, would you rather always have to say everything on your mind or never be able to speak again? You've asked me that I before. I know, I know. And I can't remember what I said. <laughs> I think you said speak every, always speak from yeah. your mind. Yeah, speak my mind because, yeah, it'd be better to do that and offend people as opposed to never speaking again. Yeah. Okay, number five. Would you rather be itchy for the rest of your life or be sticky for the rest of your life oh see I hate both uh, yeah I do oh that is hard yeah oh 
I mean, itchy is fucking annoying, but then sticky is annoying. Yeah. But I suppose it's not as annoying as being itchy. Um, have you ever got a severely itchy bum hole? No, not really. Oh, it's annoying. <laughs> I mean, it don't happen often. I mean, it's like a once a year thing. But like when I get that, it's like, wait, hang on. <laughs> And then I can carry on with the day. But do tell us in the I mean, comments below, viewers. Do you? <laughs> if you've ever had an itchy bum hole, um, I'm gonna go with sticky. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. At least you could sleep through sticky. That's true. That's very true. I have a few times. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> okay, number six. Would you yep. rather eat a bowl of vomit or right. lick a hobo's foot? Lick a hobo's foot. Yeah, I think I'd agree with you there. I mean, you've only got to lick it once. Yeah. Rather than eating a whole bowl of, of vomit. Yeah. Then you find it weird, people that are into feet. Yeah. They're not... I find that odd. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Oh, that was another thing, by the way, talking about season two. I thought maybe we could open season two with a sex special. I like the idea of uh, researching weird fetishes and stuff like that. Yeah. Especially after the, the puppy show the other day. That's weird. Oh, oh god, that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's. I'll, I'll, I'll call that. We should record Sick. that. I want to do that soon. That'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. Back to the quiz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question seven: Would you rather go through life with a perpetual cold sore on your mouth? Oh, this shit. Oh. Or go through your life with a booger hanging from your nose? I mean, I know it's horrible, but I'm going to go with the booger because. I've had cold sores and I used to suffer from them quite badly and they are horrible mm. and I hate this the really painful ones especially when it's on the inside of your mouth so I can't be having that so mm. yeah well you're and that fucking stuff that they give you to do it I mean Bonjella's fine that works and it stops it from hurting but that stuff that they give you that's like a glue that you stick over the ulcer in your mouth or whatever yeah and it don't work and then you've just got this lump of crap on the inside of your mouth yeah. And you can't get it off. No. I feel you, brother. I feel you. I don't feel my brother. <laughs> I knew you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, gosh. Would you rather watch your parents have sex every day for the rest of your life or <sighs> join in once to stop it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty... I mean, like, <laughs> I don't want to watch it every day, if not for the fact that it's disgusting, the fact that I would like to have to do other things, you know, like, well, not have to just sit there and watch that all day. No, but I don't think it means, like, all day, just, you know, you'd watch it when they do it once, I guess. Does it matter that my parents are not together and no. haven't been for a very long time no, now? They, they recon reconcile. Oh, of course they do. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um... I'm going to have to join in. <gasps> oh, you're disgusting. Well, I don't want to watch it every day. I'd rather join in. Are you sure? Well, no, I'm not sure, but I mean, <laughs> it's just the question that has been given to me, and that's the answer that I'm going to go with at this moment in time. Uh, well, I can let you know that um, I'm answering these questions online, and the percentage of people, like 66% of people, would rather watch than join in. You were their freaks. <laughs> Oh yeah, some of them are. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Number nine. Would you rather smell like eggs when you burp or have a green cloud appear when you fart? Smell like eggs when I burp because I don't burp that much. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, I... I could always... You know, I fart a lot. So burp... I mean, I could always just go to the toilet and burp and come back out. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, question ten. Would you rather have the hiccups for the rest of your life or always feel like you have to sneeze but not be able to? I hate that. Oh, they're really bad. Yeah. That's almost as hard as the itchy, sticky one. Exactly. Um, that sounds really wrong. <laughs> um, oh, I mean, hiccups are fucking annoying. Mm. But the feeling of always being, you know, yeah. like that constant feeling of being able to sneeze, I think that would be quite... You know that would stop you being able to do what you want to do exactly. with your day. So I think hiccups, because yeah. at least you can just carry on and you get used to it, wouldn't you? I, so. I agree. Oh well, apparently sixty-nine percent of people would rather feel like they have to sneeze but not be able to. 
they're the same 66% that want to just watch their mum and dad fuck, Clearly. so don't worry about them. Clearly. Okay, question 11. Would you rather only be able to listen to Nickelback songs or reread all 56 pages of iTunes terms and conditions every day for the rest of your life? I mean, I was going to say the iTunes because I've never read it to begin with, but I mean, who has? Well, but, exactly. Like, every day. Every day for the rest of my exactly. life. Exactly. But what was the what was the first one? Nickelback. Yeah, that's the only music you'd ever be able to listen to. Oh well, not that. I'd rather read the the terms and conditions because you know I've got to be able to listen to Prince. Obviously. <sighs> okay. And you know what other song that I really like as well? Oh, it's not Prince. I'm gonna go out there and say that we don't care. <laughs> it's not a Prince. Who is it? Wow! 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 Next question. I've, I've disconnected from this conversation. <laughs> I've disconnected from life. <laughs> <just in general>. <laughs> <Jesus>. <coughs> question. Alice has left the chat. <laughs> she has gone via her walking. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Yes. Okay. Question twelve. Would you rather live like a king but have no friends and family, or be homeless with your friends and family? Have money and not have friends or family. Uh, I'm with you there, friend. <laughs> no. oh, no, with all that money, you could just buy people. Yeah. That'd be all right. You're in the minority <clears> there. <throat> Only 26% of people agreed with you. Nah. Uh, okay. Don't, I don't agree. That's the that's how many percent? What? Uh, 29%. 26% said live like 26%. a king, but have no friends and so, family. So this seventy four percent of people are saying that they wouldn't want the money of a king. Yeah. Yeah. yeah bullshit. <laughs> Get in the group of the freaks that are gonna watch their mum and dad fuck. Uh, so, that's coming from someone with two bollocks now hanging out uh, touching the bin. Uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> question thirteen. Question. Yep. Would you rather eat a potato and feel its pain or be a potato? What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with people? Um, I, th- uh, I, don't think I mean, so. just once. I'm guessing so. Eating the potato. Yeah, just once. Eat the potato. I mean, I don't. I mean, it's horrible, yeah. but at least I've got to be a potato. Exactly. Uh, yeah, some hard-hitting questions on the adventures of Jeff and Davina. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, there's like the EU referendum soon, and we're talking about whether you want to be a fucking potato. <laughs> But sure. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, definitely. Seventy percent of people agreed with you there. Yep. 70% cool. of people agreed with you. <laughs> I don't there. know if that's good or not. Oh, yeah, I heard you the first yeah, time, but, but you I don't know. Coughed, if that's good you or not. Spaz. Oh, I realised sorry. I wasn't going to be able to cut that out. Never mind, don't matter. Question 14. Would you rather. Oh. Have, have vaginas for ears or have penises for fingers? I mean, I'd like to have vaginas for ears because then I could always hear people coming. Uh, uh. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that the noise you make when you're here? That's so bad. What was the second one? Because I was too busy thinking of my funny pun at the end. Oh, have penises for fingers. Oh, that's weird. That, like, that just hang... Weird. Oh. Exactly. Like, circumcised or just... I... It doesn't specify, actually. Funnily enough. Or could you decide for me because it's quite important? Yeah, uh, I'm going to say that they are. Oh, see, um, well, no, see that that's that's awkward because if they weren't circumcised, I mean, not only could I s- sort of poke things up the end of the foreskin and sort of then be able to like, I mean, because if you was having like an I, you know, an ice cream, a Magnum, I'm, say, I'm glad that you're really thinking this one through. <laughs> you could push that down the back of the foreskin. And then you could just hold your finger up and then just sort of munch on your magnum. But so, if it's uh, circumcised, then obviously your sensitive cock head is exposed on all four finger, well, all eight fingers and two thumbs. Yeah. And then it's going to make daily activities much harder as well because That's it's going to be like, Ooh, my head. So I'm going <sighs> to, do we think that you can, they they functioning like a normal penis would? So if I'm walking down the street and I see... I don't know. I was going to say Zac Efron, but he looks weird lately. He? He's faced. Yeah, he's. He, there's a small group of men. We'll get back to the penis fingers in a minute. Obviously. There's a small group <laughs> of men that seem to sort of work out and work out. They get to what I consider 
hot and then they just carry on so much and then they work out to a point where their face becomes muscly and then they just look gaunt and weird and you know it's probably the drug as well but Aww. like it, and he's in that people now and it's a shame because I used to really like him oh, that's a shame. but yeah let's say for example that I was walking down the street and I saw Zac Efron in 2013 would my hands get hard? Um, I'm going to say yes I'm going to say they, they can function like a normal penis would I mean, that makes it difficult for another reason, because that means then that while I'm trying to do daily activities, unless I'm horny, mm. I'm just with floppy dicks on my fingers. So <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's going to be awkward trying to drink a coffee with loads of cocks. <laughs> I'm going to go with vaginas for ears. I think that's the sensible one of the two. Yes, <laughs> sensible <laughs> is the right word. Uh, 65% of people agreed with you. Mm. All right, question 15. I'm glad I'm in that bracket. Yeah, people. clearly. Uh, would you rather have sex with a goat and no one would know or not have sex with a goat but everyone think you did um, not have sex with a goat and everyone think I did yeah see I think I'd go for that oh you're in the minority there but only by full, but Sam. 47% <laughs> that's because 53% of people want to fuck a goat <laughs> Jesus Christ oh, crazy right yep. anyway question 16 would you rather pry it off your thumbnail with a fork? Ooh. Oh. Or. Anything with thumbnails and fingernails and that freaks me out. Go on. Oh, this one. Or put a toothpick under your big toenail and kick a wall. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that would hurt. Fuck. Oh, that really hurts. Yeah. Um, I mean, at least that would be over and done with, though. If I'm prizing it off with a fork. Yeah. I mean, at least it's done, and I could kick the wall, and then it's done, and then, mind you, how'd you get the fucking toothpick out afterwards? Do you that's, like, the, the, a really bad form of torture when you put things under under fingernails, right? They do that. Oh, god, gotcha. yeah, but at least it's done. Like, you do it, it's kicked, and it's yeah, in, and it's pain with its... afterwards. <sighs> yeah, but prizing off, could you actually sit there and prize off your fingernail? Probably not, It no. would fucking hurt. Yeah, it would. And you'd still have the pain of not having a fingernail, the same way that you'd have the pain afterwards of your mm. stupid foot with a toothpick in it. That's so, true. I'm, as, although it sounds more painful to do that, I'm going to go with the, the, the toothpick under the toenail. Okay, I see your reasoning. Um, again, you're in the minority. Of course I am, because <laughs> there's a fuckload of people that want to prize off the fingernails. Yep. All right. See, I should have gone with penises for fingers because then I wouldn't have had that. Mind you, it would have been, would you want to go and get circumcised? Oh, but exactly, anyway, yeah. Uh, question 17 is the last question would you rather know when you're going to die or know how you're going to die I'd rather know how I'm going to die oh, really? because if I know when then that's pretty depressing mm. especially if it's like next week yeah exactly um, if it's how then possibly I can use that to my advantage and figure out how not to let that happen I, I agree with you there and so mm. do 59% of people. Mate, that that's still quite a low. Like, there's nobody out that fact that they could probably... Oh, fucking hell. Mind you, they are the weird people that want to pull off their fingernails, watch their parents fuck and... Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I enjoyed that. Well, good. Kind of. Yeah, it was weird. I mean, I think I enjoyed the other two more, but <laughs> this was interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so that is the end of your unplanned session. Yeah, I enjoyed that, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say that given you know, what we did for your one last week and my one this week, I think we could maybe do this again in season two, the whole unknown thing. Oh, and... yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> Seeing as it only took you like four weeks to prepare <laughs> for the episode. <laughs> But, you know, we can pick our favourite segments, maybe, you know, maybe pick a segment each that we liked out of it and, you know, make new segments, stuff like that. I think because they're interesting mm. because it's unknown, like it leaves an element of surprise and it makes it quite funny, I think. I did like the zombie one. That was good. Yeah, that was really good. I like that a lot. Yeah. We're going to have to do more of that because yeah. that was really funny. Definitely. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Looking ahead to season two then. Yeah. Do you want to hear me new story with one bit of fabrication okay. within it? Go on then. Okay. 
it's a like it's not an in-depth story but i'm going to tell you all of it because it's very funny um and there's just one tiny element that's not real and you get three chances to pick which element of it is not real okay but again it is very tiny okay it's from the daily mirror website oh so okay it was from the 26th of May this year. Okay. At 58 minutes past one. Lovely. Thanks for that. It's an article by a guy called Ross Finden. And the title is Erotic Novel Writer Found Dead on a Bed Wearing Nipple Clamps After Using Electric Device to Pleasure Himself. Right. It's quite a story. Yeah. <clears throat> Terence Wakeling, 77, was found by a friend who resli- who regularly came to visit to feed his cats an erotic novel writer was found oh i've just read that you <laughs> <laughs> know they repeat it, the fucking stupid people um da, 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 da. a postmortem found mr wakelin a bondage fan whose erotic novels include love slave and submission had died of heart failure at his home in east cowles on the isle of wight uh, the former darts player had been performing a sect act at the time using electroerotic stimulation with a dildo in his anus and a matter of a krautments, whatever that means, a, a manner of parts of the thing attached to his genitals and nipples. Detectives said there had been no suspicious circumstances surrounding his death. Really? Yeah, this is the bit that makes me laugh. Friends of Mr. Wakelin, like you imagine him to have friends, <laughs> <laughs> met him at a karaoke night the night before and said that he had been in good spirits and sang along to songs Isle of Wight coroner Caroline summary, whatever that is ruled out suicide and accidental death concluding that he who lived alone had died in an act of misadventure <laughs> uh, he stimulated himself with an electric device which with the poor state of his heart probably killed him Aww. so which part of that story isn't true. Um, <clears throat> I I've literally no idea, like at all. Um, I mean, it's a tiny part, but maybe did he? Maybe it wasn't karaoke. <laughs> no, it's not the karaoke oh, part. But too... Okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm surprised you didn't say another bit of that. Maybe to be honest, maybe, first. Maybe he didn't have cats. No, he did have cats. Oh. But that was the part I thought you'd go with first, because it was that that attracted me to the story, because I thought, just randomly, found by a friend who came to feed his cat. So I thought she's definitely going to go for I that did, bit. I did prick up my ears when you said cats. Like, oh, cats. So, um, okay. Try and stay on top. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I don't know. I can't... Uh, nipple clamps? No, there was definitely nipple clamps. I'm afraid you failed this segment. The part that was not true was the fact that he didn't have a dildo inserted in his anus. Oh. Okay. (laughs) We'll see you next week (laughs) on the next episode. (laughs) Do you know what? This is just in-depth journalism and, uh, you know, knowledge and, and facts we're throwing out there. Yeah, I mean, I just love the fact that an actual, you know, journalist has gone to see his friend and said, you know, your friend has been found dead with nipple clamps. You know, he electrocuted himself to death, essentially. Was there anything you noticed? Oh, no, he loved a good sing song the night before. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, seriously. But yeah, you get an idea of what that segment would be. I mean, it's not a long segment, granted. I mean, it's taking about two minutes. <laughs> but it's, I don't know, there's something about it that I quite like and I think it's quite funny. I think i think we can uh, we could do that. I think we need to maybe, uh, I don't know, you send me like a, a Word document of it because it's a lot to remember. Okay. Uh, so I can sit and read it and find out what the, well, what you said, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. We could try it again. Sick. All right, so that's the end of the episode. Yeah, so two full unknown episodes, and they went quite well, I think. I think so, yes. Quite enjoyed Mm. it. 
So we've already planned some stuff for season two. I mean, we've got the sex special, mm. you know, maybe like a childhood special with sort of questions about, you know, trying to remember things from, you know, the very early 90s and stuff. Yep. And two more unknown episodes. So that's four episodes already. Exactly. And we're definitely going to do Room 101 because there's been a lot of fucking shit pissing me off lately. Yes, mate. I'm probably going to put Anne in there, to be honest. I'm definitely going to put Anne in there. Oh, poor Anne. <coughs> okay. Right, yo. Cool. Fair enough. And uh, I think it works out that next week means you're getting quite a good episode. Yeah. It'll, yeah. it'll be interesting. Yeah. We've already recorded it. And um, let's just say it's a bit odd. Uh, it went off on a bit of a tangent. Sure did. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're sorry. Sorry in advance. Yeah, yeah sorry in advance. Yeah. <laughs> just don't worry, because the episode after that is the final of this. Oh. Oh, you had to, didn't oh. you? You had to. Oops. But don't worry, because next week's episode is the final episode, and then you, you know you can you can say this was one of those programs where you just watched the first season and then you came off. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, mate! We need to get some followers. Yeah, we really do. We're hemorrhaging followers on Instagram. I don't know if you've noticed. No, I haven't. We we were, we did have thirty one I think at one point and we've got twenty four now. Oh dear, yeah, but a lot of yeah. those are just bots, aren't they? Oh, definitely. Can't I don't like a bot. No, I don't like a bot. But in, in all seriousness, I mean, I've been using the Instagram account for Jeff and Davina. Yes. The the address for Jeff and Davina is Jeff and Davina, all one word. Um, and it, it's good because you know you get to know when the next episode's coming out. I post a few random pictures from the week. You send me stuff and I post it and, you know, things in theme of whatever we're talking about that week. And I've also started putting up some sort of quote pictures of things that have, you know, been said during the weeks or whatever. And I even this week posted something in advance as a teaser for the coming episode. So Ooh. you ain't going to get that unless you follow Jeff and Davina on exactly. Instagram. Exactly, guys. Come on now. Just hard hitting exactly crap basically you're gonna love it <clears throat> yeah yeah <sighs> bye then <laughs> bye then mate bye till next time till, yeah and sorry for next time yeah. really really sorry yes. we were trying not to let that happen again yes. sorry hashtag soz yes hashtag bye <laughs> <laughs> hashtag curious <sighs> Uh, Bye. Bye. <laughs>